Welcome to Candle IAS. In this lecture, we will be discussing about the 17th G20 Summit, the 17th G20 Heads of State and Government Summit, which is going on in Bali, Indonesia presently. Why is this a news? The G20 Summit, that is the 17th G20 Summit, is happening on the 15th and 16th November in Bali, Indonesia. And that is why it is in use and it is important for our preparation of UPSC examination. First of all, what is G20? G20 means group of 20. It includes 19 countries along with the Europe Union. There was a global financial crisis or an international financial crisis during 1997 to 1999. So in 1999, the group of 20 was formed. That is, these countries came together with the goal of finding or looking for international, looking for a solution to international financial stability. We'll be discussing more about this when we discuss about the history of G20. First of all, let's understand what G20 means. As I already told you, G20 stands for Group of 20, it includes various countries like Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada and all these countries listed here along with the Europe Union. So, every year one country holds the presidency of G20, okay? And that country will host the summit. Keep this in mind. So, G20 is a group of 20 which includes 19 countries along with Europe Union. And the presidency of the G20 is held with one country, one particular country for one year. And it is that country which hosts the G20 summit. So this year, the presidency is with Indonesia. And that is why they are hosting the summit in Bali. And from December 1, the presidency will come to India. So next year, India will be hosting the G20 summit. Okay. So each year, the presidency invites the guest countries to participate in the summit and Spain is invited as a permanent guest. The G20 brings together the world's major economies. Okay, so this is a premier forum for international economic cooperation. So after the global economic crisis in 1999, the G20 was came, in, came into being with the intention of bringing international economic cooperation to bring about international financial stability. So that was the primary goal of G20 establishment in 1999. So the G20 brings together the world's major economies and here it is it accounts for around 75% of the global trade, 80% of the world GDP and 60% of the population of the planet. So now you can understand how important this grouping is because it accounts for about 60% of the global population, 75% of the global trade, and 80% of the world GDP. So it includes all the major economies, and that is why G20 is very, very important. In, ever since the G20 was formed in 1999, there has been meetings organized every year without fail. However, the leaders of the G20 countries started meeting in the summit since 2008. So, in addition to the summit, we also have other meetings. We shall be discussing about that one after the other now. So, in addition to the summit, we also have ministerial meetings and Sherpa meetings also. So, first of all, what is a summit? Summit is a meeting wherein the heads of the state and the government attend the meetings like say in our country now in bali representing our country india our prime minister sri narendra modi is attending the g20 meeting isn't it so summit is one wherein the leaders and the head of the state and the government participate in the meeting this is called as summit so in addition to summit we have various other meetings also which happens throughout the year Whereas summit happens only once in a year. So what are the other meetings? The other meetings are ministerial meetings. So ministerial meetings are the ones wherein the ministers of the country 
meet to discuss certain issues of international importance. And then the Sherpa meetings. What do I mean by Sherpa? A Sherpa is a personal representative of the head of the head of the state or the head of the government who prepares for the international summit. And these meetings are called as Sherpa meetings. So let me make it clear again. Annual, annual meeting or the summit happens only once in a year wherein the leaders of the head of the state or the government participate. In addition to this, we also have the ministerial meetings and we have the Sherpa meetings which keep happening throughout the year. Okay. Now let's discuss about the history of the G20. So as I told you earlier, there was a global financial crisis during 1997 to 1999. So the G20 was formed in 1999 with the aim of discussing the policies in order to achieve international financial stability after the global economic crisis or the global financial crisis. Okay, between 97 to 99, there was a global financial crisis and later in 1999, the G20 was formed with the aim of discussing policies in order to achieve global financial stability. Okay, this was by involving middle income countries and having systemic economic influence including Indonesia. On the advice of the G7 finance ministers, the G20 finance ministers and the central bank governors began holding meetings to discuss the response of the global financial crisis that occurred. After that, the Ministry of Finance level meeting is held regularly in the fall. So after the G20 was organized in 1999, from then onwards, the finance ministers along with the governors of the central bank of all these countries have been meeting to discuss about these issues. And then only from 2008, the leaders of the state and the, or the government started meeting in the summit which occurs annually. So the G20 summit has been happening since 2008. Though the G20 organization that is Group of 20 was formed or established in 1999, the summit did not happen right from 1999. The summit started happening only from 2008 onwards. Prior to that, only the finance ministers and the governors of the central banks used to meet in the meetings to discuss these issues. Fine. So in 2008, the leaders of the G20 countries on the occasion of the global response to the impact of the financial crisis that occurred in the US. So we know that in US there was a financial crisis during 2008. So after that only the leaders of the G20 countries started meeting together in the summit and since then summit is being held every year without fail. Okay, they agreed to hold a follow-up meeting. So the first ever G20 summit was held on November 14th to 15th, 2008. So how does G20 work? As I already told you, the presidency of the G20 is given to one country that is among the list of the countries which come under the G20 grouping. One country holds the presidency for one year. So we have this concept called as Troika, which includes three countries. Okay. So one country which is holding the presidency has one predecessor and one successor. Say now, though presently the president... Now, presently, the country which is holding the presidency of G20 is Indonesia. And that is why the summit is happening in Bali, isn't it? So, the predecessor for Indonesia is Italy. Because prior to Indonesia, the presidency was with Italy. So, the predecessor for Indonesia is the, pres the presidency, predecessor for Indonesia is Italy. And the successor is India because December 1 onwards, we take over the presidency of the G20 from Indonesia to India and the next summit, the next G20 summit will be held in India. Okay, so did you understand this concept of Troika wherein there are three countries? Presently, the three countries which are in the Troika are Italy, Indonesia and India. Okay, 
the previous summit was held in Italy. Now, presently, this year's, that is the 17th G20 summit, is going to, is being held in Indonesia, in Bali, right? So, the predecessor for Indonesia is Italy and the successor for Indonesia is India. So, from December 1, India will take over the presidency of G20 and then Indonesia will be our predecessor and we are yet to know who our successor will be. I hope you got the uh, got the clear picture of how the presidency of G20 works. So let us also look into where other different other places where the previous summits were held. So the 16th G20 summit was held in Italy, the 15th in Saudi Arabia, and the 14th in Japan. Okay. So now presently the summit is going on today and tomorrow in Bali, Indonesia. That is on. 15th and 16th of November. So, what is the importance of this globally and how is it of importance and concern to India? First and foremost, we have to understand that this is the first G20 summit which is happening after Russia began the war on Ukraine and the West started imposing sanctions on Russia, right? So, here it is going to have much more importance and in addition to that, the, it will be of much importance to India because we are going to take over the presidency of G20 on December 1 from Indonesia, right? So from December onwards, December 1 onwards, the presidency of G20 will be with India. So that is why this 17th G20 is going to be much more important to India and also globally because this is the first G20 summit which is going to be held after Russia declared war on Ukraine and West started imposing sanctions on Russia. So after the summit goes on today and tomorrow, we will be able to get a clear picture of what are the outcomes of the summit. So we shall be discussing about the significance of this 17th G20 summit and the outcomes of the summit in our next lecture. Until then, you can follow our channel for much more informative lectures. You can also like, comment, share and subscribe. Until I meet you in the next lecture, take care, have a good day. Thank you.